guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm lisa also known as la dolce lisa and as you could tell from the title of this video let's just get right into it <laughs> meet my puppy guys which is the cutest thing and of course I love that just not right now because I have lip gloss on you can't kiss me right now so this is my puppy Luna she is a mix between a long hair and a short hair chihuahua she's a little bit dirty right now because we went outside the cute thing about her is that she's been going outside pretty much for the first time ever this week because she just had her third and final shot so I could finally take her outside. Some people will risk it and will take their dogs outside before they have their shots, but just to be safe, you should always keep your dogs inside until they've had all their shots and then they can go outside. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Luna, this grass! You like the grass? Baby, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Come on, come on. She's on my left right now. She seems to be sleepy, which is good, so she won't be too hyper. I have her little toys here that she can play with. After Summer passed away, my beautiful Chihuahua Summer, I will link the video down below. It's, of course, a bit sad, but you guys should know mine and Summer's story before you get to know mine and Luna's story. Summer was my beautiful long-haired Chihuahua that meant the world to me. I've had her for over 12 years and losing her really broke my heart. And I guess I just wasn't ready to get a puppy for a while. Summer passed away in December of 2017. So I did wait about eight months before I got Luna. And actually I wasn't even planning on getting one so soon. During those eight months before I had Luna and after Summer passed away, I was sort of looking at dogs online anyways, just because that gave me me, like so much joy just to see little puppies on Kijiji especially I would always browse Kijiji and look at all these cute puppies and so many times I had the urge to get one but I knew I just wasn't ready so after Italy I was browsing online and I came across a picture of little Luna <laughs> I'll insert the picture of her she was honestly the cutest puppy I've ever seen and it was actually this lady who had two ch chihuahua puppies a long hair and a short hair they had a baby only one little baby in the litter and that was Luna so they were having her for sale because she just couldn't keep the puppy she already had like so many cats at home and those two dogs even another dog so she just couldn't keep it so of course she had to give it away come <laughs> me who saw this ad it was the day after Italy guys I just got back from my trip I was kind of nervous all day thinking like should I should I write her like am I ready and my sister's like just write her what do you have to lose you know she might not even be available so I wrote her and I said that I was interested and if you know if this little dog is available I would love to come and meet her because actually she happened to be super close by it was about a 45 minute drive away from where I personally live so it was great so she said yes she is still available she had put the ad up I think only the day before and she said she had a lot of messages but no one has come to see her yet and if you would like you can come to see her today at six o'clock so I thought oh my gosh like am I ready to do this today and I said why not and the whole time I was not even planning on getting Luna that day I was thinking okay I'm just gonna go see the dog see if I get the vibes that me and this dog are gonna have a connection together and then I'll decide what to do so guys when I saw her I went with my mom my sisters and my boyfriend drove when I saw her I was immediately in love there was just something about Luna that was just I don't know I can't I can't even describe it she was just one of the cutest puppies that I've ever seen in my life. Of course, aside from Summer, but Luna was literally the cutest puppy that I've ever seen. So I was sitting with her and the girl, she was so sweet. She gave me Luna and I sat down on the couch and I was holding her and I was telling my family members and my boyfriend, I was like, I'm getting emotional here. And my sister's like, it's okay to cry if you want. And when someone tells you it's okay to cry when you're on the verge of tears, you just break down. So I lost it. I was crying. Put my hand in her. She's up. little Luna and I was crying and my boyfriend was like you love this puppy do you want her and I was like yeah so he asked the girl he's like where's the nearest bank he literally left and went to the bank and got the money to pay the girl for this beautiful little puppy that I love so much I love her you can't kiss me right now I shouldn't have wear lip gloss <laughs> so right away we took her home and she was so cute she sat on my lap in the car and she was like the most the sweetest little thing ever She was really sweet <laughs> and she was so 
so cute. She was just such a good girl, didn't even make a peep. She was just sitting on my lap in the car. When I brought her home, I put her on the floor on this blanket pretty much. So she was moving very like delicately and you could tell maybe she didn't really walk much in her life or she was so nervous. Like my motherly instincts just kicked in and I just wanted to protect her. Luna, this is day one with little Luna. You wanna come and eat? Come and eat. Come and eat. No, look, there's a food in your bowl. Oh, she's gonna be happy, look at her. She's already eating, she's so happy. Oh, look at her, she's sitting in front of me eating. Oh, she's with her mommy. Oh. I'm gonna be at work thinking about this thing all day. Oh, I know. And the funny thing about Luna is that I didn't anticipate ever getting another chihuahua, at least like now. It just happened to work out that I was thinking when I was in Italy, okay, you know, I don't want a chihuahua, but maybe half, maybe I want half a chihuahua because I just seem to love this breed. Turns out I got a complete full bred chihuahua and it turns out that she is so tiny. I actually wanted a bigger dog and I get this little tiny rat. She's so small. So she really was the only one in her litter and she was just such a little munchkin. She was so little and now she's getting quite well, this is this is actually big compared to what she was. When I first got her, she must have weighed like two pounds. Her first vet visit with me, she was 2.2 pounds. She was so tiny, now I believe she's basically three pounds. I wanted a new vet for Luna to start from scratch and we absolutely love him, so she's well taken care of. she was exactly eight weeks old which is pretty young but I got her when she was eight weeks old and right now she's four months old so she's twice that <laughs> and she's really thriving she loves her house here really and guys she's so spoiled so who wouldn't I'm such a dog person I mean I will always have dogs no matter what so I knew that it was a matter of time before I got Luna but I just wanted to wait until I was ready and I'm ready so I had my little Luna and I feel like everything happened for a reason because like I said I was in Italy. I got her the day that I got back from Italy. This girl on Kijiji was going to post her that weekend. And if she did, she would have been gone for sure. And lots of people messaged her, but no one had come to see her yet because I think she put the ad up on like the Monday or the Sunday. And I basically got Luna on the Tuesday. Had she put her up that weekend, she would have been gone. And she even told me, she's like, something just made me not put her up for some reason. I just wanted to wait until after the weekend. I feel like it was just meant to be. Like when I was finally ready, I saw her and I knew it was just, it was honestly insta-love. <laughs> Love at first sight. And little Luna, the cute thing about her is that her name means moon in Italian. Luna means moon. And I always liked the name Luna, so it just, it was came to me even before I got her. When I was looking at pictures of her on Kijiji, I was telling like my mom and my family members, I was like, what do you guys think of the name Luna? We were like brainstorming names. And I just love that name. So when I met her, we just kind of started calling her Luna because she literally looks like the moon. She has brown ear and like on the brown on her eyes. So it's almost like, you know, when the moon is not quite full. So I just figured that Luna is such a perfect name for her. She already learned two tricks. So she knows how to sit and she knows how to give me paw. So when we say, give me paw, she puts her little paw in my hand. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> What really helped with training Luna was getting these treats. They're treats that she had at the vets actually and we realized she loved them. They're basically just freeze dried liver treats so they're good. There's like nothing else in them, just that. And she's obsessed with them. So how we potty train her because she virtually makes no mistakes now and she's four months old so that's amazing. How we potty train her was that every time she go on the pee pad in my room, there's a pee pad in my room of course. She's a small dog, I live in a condo so I can't be bringing her outside, it's just unrealistic. So she's trained to go on the pee pad and every time she'd go pee, we'd give her a treat right away. So she kind of realized, oh my gosh, if I'm peeing on this pee pad, I get this amazing treat that I love. She's already potty trained and guys, I even made her an Instagram page. I didn't think that I would at first, but everyone kept saying, you should make her one, you take the cutest picture of her. So I just made her an Instagram page. It's that little Luna. At Instagram so if you guys want to see more pictures of her and see how she's growing you could check her out on there I even post cute little throwback baby pictures of her because she was such a little munchkin and of course if you would like to see her in some more videos please let me know I'm sure she'll make a cameo and thanks for watching guys can you say bye can you say bye thanks for watching mama's channel
Look at your little long legs. You're gonna grow. So bye guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what are you doing? Look. <laughs> you look like a stuffed animal. Are you hiding? You don't have to stay on this bed anymore. Okay? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Video's done. This is the first day that we have yeah. little Luna. She's finally come out of her shell a bit. Oh, she's looking at herself. Oh. Oh, I have it on video. Luna, she sees herself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my little Luna, you love belly rubs already. <laughs> you love belly rubs. Your little belly feels like silk. Oh, I love her.